Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. This is our last story of the day. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Barretta. Okay. Scientists have discovered a 2,000 year old computer. Wait, what? That's crazy. No, seriously. But scientists do believe that it is the first ever computing device. The object was found off of the Greek island Antikythera, which is awesome, and a guy by the name of Michael Wright has spent the past few decades trying to figure out what this bad boy does. So what does it do? Well, me trying to explain how this thing works is a lot like me trying to explain how an actual computer works. So uh, I'll give it a shot. Here it goes. The future data is entered into the device using some levers, which move some gears, then bam! The device will tell you both the position of the moon and the sun at the same time, and the phase of the moon. Evidently, the Greeks used a lunar calendar instead of a solar calendar, and you can't fit a complete number of lunar months into a year. This is based on something called the metonic cycle, where 235 full moons can almost fit perfectly in a span of 19 years. So that sounds very arbitrary, but at the time, it really wasn't. It's estimated that this machine was built around 150 to 100 BC. Mike Edmonds, an astrophysicist, stated, it is fairly probable, almost certain, that it also displayed the position of the planets in the sky as well. The planets they knew about, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Scientists believe this thing is incredibly advanced, and a similar device was invented 1400 years later that was basically the exact same thing. So Michael Wright, the guy who's been working with this thing for so long, has created a modern day replica of the device and I'm fairly certain he's a wizard. Yeah, he's a wizard. The mechanism's a box full of gear wheels driving indications on dials. One at the front and one at the back. The planet pointers sometimes move forwards and sometimes backwards. Meanwhile, the sun and moon pointers vary in speed, just as the actual sun and moon do when seen from Earth. That is cool. It's like a like antique computer space clock. Yeah, it's like a full moon predictor, a fullest moonest predictor. Yeah, if I if I could get my hands on one of those, I would buy it and then I'd put it in my room and I'd punch in the date and then I'd figure out when the next full moon was going to be. And that way, I would know when the next werewolf epidemic is going to be. And that way, I didn't have to go to that party that I was invited to with all the werewolves. I said it before and I'll say it again. Werewolves don't exist. They're they're mythological. They're just symbolic of a woman's you know. What? What? Cycle! What? No, what are you talking about? You know? Oh! Yeah! Back to the story. So if you are wondering how scientists figured out all of this, I should probably mention that they use something called X-ray computed tomography to decipher the meaning of the machine's engravings. So that's how they were able to determine that the machine was capable of pinpointing full moons, AKA oh, pinpointing when there will I be werewolves. It, I get it, you were right. It's, yeah. a, it's a werewolf predictor. Exactly. I mean, it's not just a werewolf predictor. It's also a, a very sophisticated ancient device that proves how humanity is so amazingly awesome and we don't give it enough credit. Yeah, whatever. It's a werewolf predictor. Yeah, it's pretty much just a werewolf it's predictor. It's a werewolf predictor. <laughs> Those are Greeks. Yeah. So, if you could have invented any object ever, what would it have been and why? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you like us, press the like button. If you want to subscribe, press the subscribe button. If you want to watch more videos, click this annotation or go to sourcefed.com to check out the five videos of the day or anything that we've ever done. If you want us on your wall so we can watch you while you're asleep, please go down to the description. We'll have a link to our posters. They're awesome. And we might even sign them for you if you want us to. I'm Joe Barretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. It's a fullest, moonest yes. predictor. Uh -huh. Werewolves. Werewolves.